In this video, I will explain what timber shoring is and when it should be used, and will share some experiences from COST's timber shoring practice activity. In the context of latrine construction, timber shoring is a temporary support method used to hold up the walls of the pit while it is being dug and lined. Shoring is necessary in any pit that is either deeper than 1.2 meters or is prone to collapse, and it is an extremely important safety measure for anyone working inside the pit. Choosing to utilize shoring can save you time and money, and more importantly, may save your life. Shoring may be made from a variety of materials, including timber, steel, and aluminum with hydraulic struts. Shoring systems may be prefabricated or fabricated on site, which is the case with timber shoring. Square and rectangular pits are more likely to collapse and shoring should always be used where soil is unstable. A shoring system consists of uprights, whales, struts, and sheeting. To shore circular pits, it is possible to use a technique borrowed from well digging called the modified Chicago method, which includes vertical planks held in place with steel rings and wedges. It is important to note that not all types of wood are suitable for shoring, and the timber chosen must be free of defects or damage. The timber must be kept in good condition and should be inspected frequently and replaced if damaged. Find out what types of wood local experts consider to be strong and use this for your shoring. In order to learn more about timber shoring, COST staff decided to practice shoring installation on a 1.2 meter deep pit. Please note that our pit was dug in clay soil and was not prone to collapse. Please also note that this was an exercise for learning purposes only. If you are considering using shoring to support an excavation that is at risk of collapse, please consult with a local expert. For this activity, we decided to shore our pit in two equal upper and lower sections so the lower shoring could be removed to install a lining. We chose to use 2x6 boards as uprights. Whales were not necessary due to the small size of the pit. Tight-fitting struts were installed using wedges. We learned that thinner wedges were easier to work with than thick wedges that have a larger angle. The wedges shown here are too thick. Uprights were spaced appropriately and pushed into the floor of the pit. Then struts were added across the pit to apply pressure to the opposite upright. The same thing was done across the opposite side of the pit. And the same steps were repeated on the second level of uprights. This method proved to be quite challenging for inexperienced people such as ourselves. However, we learned that with a bit of practice, installation of timber shoring is possible. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about latrine design and construction, please visit resources.cost.org or contact us at support.cost.org to speak with an advisor.